Red Sharks IBC coverage is brought to you by Matrox, Simply, and VizRT. Hey Tim. Hi Bas. How are you? How are you? Good, good, good. So what, what can you introduce me? What, what is this? Okay, uh, we're here at IBC 2022 and we're, here, we're showing the Mars cam track system. As you can see, this little tracker on top. Most of this, um, you'll probably see a lot of this in indie uh, VP virtual production filmmaking where they put a tracker on top of a camera. Uh, and the reason why they've been doing that is because uh, robust systems are really, really expensive and uh, really hard to set up. So they, uh, people have been hacking by putting these uh, Mars camp uh, trackers onto our um, rovers. So then now Vibe is listening to the community and trying to figure out a way to support them. So we came out with the Mars cam track system. The Mars cam track system right here, as you can see, right here, this is the Mars mo module. And in the Mars module, it can support up to three cameras. Right now we have two cameras being tracked. Yeah, so uh, in this particular one, because it's IBC and it's broadcast, uh, of course, we are uh, partnering with Eximetry. Uh, Eximetry has this wonderful software. They're an all-in-one all software uh, virtual studio. And they're able to make super high uh, quality uh, broadcast content just by the click of the button. Let's just say right now we have um, Dan over here, and he's you know being the broadcast person. Uh, if if we wanted to say the Taiwan weather that's going on right over there, here I'm gonna change that. It's just a click of a button. I'm not a technician, but I'm able to just simply toggle it off, toggle it on and off uh, on the switchboard, right? Uh, one of the great things that having a camera tracked onto um, a virtual studio is that uh, all of the all of the world is, 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 is tracked. So as you can see here on the LED, can you see the screen? Yeah, I can see. You can see the screen. If I pan away, we're seeing the virtual world and not, you know, beyond the green screen here. So what the great thing about that is you can have scale, right? So you're going beyond what the green screen is so that you can show, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Because in real life. Because in real life, it's just this right here. Yeah. So let's, let's look over here and I'll show you some other cool stuff. Uh, yeah, you, you can, this, this broadcast system, it's just, it just it's two computers, Mars, and two cameras, and the rover. As you can see, it's really portable, right? So it, you can pretty much either bring it anywhere you need or uh, set it up in, in, in anywhere because we have this, this little like Mars cam track, little uh, portable Pelican case. And this is, you're, you're not lying, Tim. There's no special server room somewhere. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's just this? It's just this. It's not connected to a cloud. <laughs> it, it, it's not, I don't even think this has Wi-Fi. So like pretty much this is a very closed system and that's it. So I think the beauty of this is that um, all of this contained, you're able to have you know, your own virtual broadcast studio in your living room or your garage. It's really empowering for anyone who really wants to just uh, create content. The biggest thing about broadcast is that you can have two, two cameras and multi-camera, right? Uh, the, the cool thing about um, our Mars cam track system is that we support third-party lens encoders, right? So that means that your, any kind of focus or uh, zoom that you have can be translated. If you can see on the monitor over there, uh, Johnny here is going to rack focus. And then there's one more thing that's really cool. So right now you only see two cameras, right? Yep. Right? So, uh, but there is a third view that we can do, which makes a, what a traditional uh, broadcast studio would look like. And we can replicate that with 
uh, Xtimetry is virtual cam. So you can see here. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> so what's happening is uh, Xtimetry has made a billboard of, uh, of uh, our presenter and then he placed it into a, th a 3D space. And then it's replicating its own little uh, techno crane that's happening. That's amazing. It's super cool. So you don't need a techno crane anymore. You can just use Xtimetry. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. And like, now you don't have to tell me how much this costs, but I know from friends who are in this type of productions that normally this is, well, quite expensive, right? It's like normally looking at big studios, yeah, etc. Yeah. So uh, normally any kind of broadcast, like software, yeah. it, 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 they're very expensive. Uh, but I think for Vive, it, it's all about trying to democratize, you know, the VP and Xymmetry as well. So together, Together we've been uh, partnering, and then we have a broadcast bundle that is uh, able to package what you see here for all for the price of just nine thousand nine hundred eighty. Sorry, so, what? That's that's nothing, right? That's nothing. Look at that. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing because if you think about like only what two years back, this wasn't even really. It feels to me like this kind of popped out of thin air and it's like now it's so readily available for so many more people mm -hmm. i but mean I, I think the whole revolution of like with with uh with unreal and everybody you know pushing for it it really feels like the early, early days when uh 5d mark ii came out right yes. and then it was all about like this prosumer revolution i think this is the same thing that's happening uh, right now with with uh, virtual production and it's just like why did only a few people in la Hollywood get to play with all these cool toys. Now with emerging markets and everyone, nobody needs any more permission to be able to do this kind of high quality content whenever you want. Exactly, and that ultimately just ends up in more and better work. Right? Yeah, exactly, right? So then it, you have more inclusive stories, right? That it's really going out there and then being able to get those people who want and have good stories to tell and being able to tell without asking for Hollywood to give them money or anything. So it's really exciting. Yeah.